Uh, good morning, Vietnam. Yeah, a very important point is uh, in our position of consciousness, is it active or passive? Is it passivity or is it an active position? Okay. Uh, uh, in uh, the meditation of, uh, of Buddhism, the, we can say that the, the awareness, the vipassana, is, is a passive, passivity. Okay, you just observe, okay? Uh, though it's not 100% uh, uh, passive, if you have the belief system of the Buddhism, okay? Because uh, the, the belief system of the Buddhism, though it is toward nirvana, toward the extinction, it is a passive, uh, I mean, it is an active po position of consciousness. Okay, it's a, it is a belief system. So your consciousness believing that nirvana extinguishing is is some kind of way to do between bracket is an active position of consciousness. Okay, so we we say that uh, awareness in Buddhism is passive, but still there is this note playing in the background, this frequency of extinguishing. Uh, this is a samsara hopeless here. Okay, so it's not 100% uh, passivity. There is active, active part which is pushing you toward uh, nothingness. Okay, toward doing the opposite of manifesting, which is your, your consciousness is witnessing, exper experimenting each other, and and suddenly you don't want to experiment. Okay, so I let you decide if if this is a valid or an achievable uh, goal. Okay, for a consciousness which by, by nature is here to witness other, to, 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 to be different points of the big electron and wanting not to be of this, uh, for me, is, is contradicting what I am. I don't feel in myself like uh, wanting not to see nothing. Okay, uh, be uh, in the non-experience. Okay, uh, to be okay. So I, I don't feel it, I feel it totally the opposite of what I am, okay, uh, the will to be, uh, the will to be a point of view in the big electron, I don't find it uh, logical to do the opposite, and I, I think it's uh, something unachievable, okay, if, if you are already a point of view of the big electron, be, uh, deciding not to be, it's like deciding to close your eyes again. I don't want to see. Okay, so I don't find it uh, uh, something that uh, that, that is uh, even rational. Okay. So I said we are pushed toward passive uh, passivity in our consciousness. Like we cannot be creator. We cannot change the stuffs. Okay. Uh, in the religions, uh, it is not us creating. It we are in in the, in the creator hand. Okay, so uh, we just, we're going to go somewhere else. Okay, we are in this hope, okay, to, to have uh, another place, a heaven or something. Uh, this is for the little religions. The, the religion of escaping the matrix is also a hope there to exit the matrix. Uh, the matrix okay, you, they don't tell you what's there once you exit. Okay, is it like the nirvana you don't experiment? Is there other people, uh, other way of doing uh, if yes, why those uh, people are not showing, are not helping here, okay? So, so it's uh, full of contradiction. You, you understand that all this is the, the mental process, the thinking process of the, of, of the people creating stories. Okay, creating stories which have uh, not even a rational basis on fact of what we are observing in front of us. Okay, in front of us we are observing super complicated reality okay intricate forms of life different forms of life okay and uh, we see life changing okay i uh, me myself i i conceive that life changes evolves uh, by the shift of consciousness okay it's not a materialistic it's a shift a shift of the consciousness of, of the consciousness of species make it form change i can I can feel this is this is really rational, okay, in, in my way. So I see life deploying, okay. And as a species, we are in a difficult uh, moment where uh, we have to change.
okay we have to change um, at that level of awakening and uh, and power we cannot be in this situation okay we have to uh, discover more power deploy more into the manifestation okay it's not going backward okay uh, in my in my reality in my intellect as and and very much in my feelings okay this is my, in my feelings in my intellects i don't it doesn't make sense to pedal back but in my fe feelings my uh, you know my my vibe zero in me it feels like i have to go backward okay everything pushes forward go deeper okay what's there fucking crazy this this power in um, in the matter dormant and this this darkness okay so so, so the adventurous minds go there okay I conceive the existence of, of, of going backward. I conceive that uh, this is a component that has to be. Uh, because everything is possible. But, but for me, it's not conceivable to be in it anymore. Anymore. Oh, I was a Buddhist guy. I was a Buddhist guy. You cannot imagine. Uh, you cannot imagine the, the, uh, the years of meditation and stuff and the achievement. You know, when you, when you see this mental body of you, really nervonizing that means the the extinguishing of thoughts that you have moments where there is no thoughts uh, but because uh, of observing them and everything and not believing in them okay so it it, it does have but but the the extinguishing of all of of me it doesn't happen i, I just extinguished the a big part of the belief system and a big part of the mental activity. I, I nervonized this, but still there was the fire in the body, the, the structure, the life is continuing, the crazy activity. The okay, so still the adventure was open. So I could nervonize something, but I could not nervonize all of me. Okay, extinguish all of me. Okay, I extinguished the shit that was extinguishable. Okay, the stuff that were artificially active. Okay, they extinguished. But then the core of you is fire. Is consciousness is a point of view of the big, big electron. The core of me. Is fire, is energy, is consciousness wanting to be. Wanting to see, wanting to, wanting, wanting to create. Okay, it's not, it's not a consciousness want, wanting to not be conscious. It's not true. I, I didn't find it in me. Very honest, guys. I'm telling you, I didn't find this shit. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I, I, I played with the nirvanism till I nirvanized what is nirvanizable. Okay. Okay. To make it simple. Okay. Yeah. So now, uh, like I said, passivity in the consciousness. Now I'm not having a passivity in the conscious. I have an active position of consciousness. When I'm observing, okay, Vipassana is a part of me, uh, awareness, okay, but now it's a very active position, like very active, like if there is thoughts, there is an active position, those thoughts are little, the field of the mental is so little, the emotionality is very little, uh, the, even in the relationship with the people, if you, you keep emotionality and thoughts, you are not in relation in relationship with the others, really, okay, extinguishing my emotionality, Okay, like not being it the primary vibe that I, I rely on to be. And my thoughts give me more uh, contact with the other. Like I can see them. I can see their condition, okay, uh, where, where they are, their problematic. By ident identification of my consciousness, I can feel their situation. And I, and I have kind of compassion, okay, uh, I can feel. Because I, the more you are wider, powerful, you can, you have the, the space to feel the others, feel their um, their problems in life and everything. So, so less of those uh, emotional emotional subtitling and thoughts, especially revolving around the small ego, makes you more uh, able to have contact with life, with others, with animals, with anything. Okay, with your power and with your body. Okay with your body the, the moment you uh, closing business of thoughts closing business of thoughts uh, you see the body okay you see this structure also 
Okay, so uh, you 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 have seen the egg of thoughts and emotion. Okay, and you say, ah, no, I don't want. I, I close business. So you enter into the business of of the other polarity, the, the business that offers the body. Okay, the other polarity of of the divine, which rose, raised, rose from the matter and and made those very complex bodies. You you kind of ah you enter the egg the, the egg of the body, okay. Once once you are out of your the egg of your little ego uh, built with thoughts and emotionality, you kind of ah you see the egg of the body, okay. So you see a structure also, a structure an energetic structure of the body, okay. You see those energetic centers, chakras, uh, energies they call kundalini and stuff and stuff okay you start to see them and here also you will feel the egg you will feel the limit of the egg and you will see that the people did the same thing what they invented for the mental and the thoughts they invented the same the same story for the body like it's it's not changing it's not changing uh, those those chakras are here okay and this kundalini is here and they, 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 they try to do something with it what well, while it is structure of now okay uh, mostly animalistic guys we have uh, when people talk about kundalini kundalini is very much related to the energy of life of sexuality okay so this is an egg also it's the uh, body egg okay so here also we can we can see in passivity it is like this it will not change or like me I say no nah, this is uh, I'm not uh, I'm I don't want my energy to be structured like an animal okay deep inside I feel limitation so I am starting to feel uh, the egg of the body and start to work on it to work on these limitations guys uh, just like I worked on the egg of thoughts. And feelings, emotionality, and little ego. Now you and you have access to the egg of the body, and here it's it's even it's so crazy advantage because here you reach real dense energies, real powerful energies, fires and stuff. So it's divine light, but structured in different uh, you know notes, frequencies, depicted by chakras. Okay, and all of them related to emotionality, related to life force, related to. To, to the capacity to perceive and everything so it's all light divine light structured in a certain way fragmented you know all the colors okay mixed with like i said uh, animal atavism and everything. so it's, here you enter the crazy crazy adventure which is the the egg of the form the human body and what you're going to do inside it the same i don't take a passive a passive position here i'm not I'm not okay with it. I'm not gonna uh, just play with it. You play with it, you discover its limitation, like you discovered the limitation of your, uh, you know, uh, thoughts and emotionality, and the limitation of your law of attraction, uh, the limitation of a relationship you can have with other peoples and life and everything by emotion and thoughts you reach. Now I want deeper, deeper, deeper. So even the form here of the body, the same story will repeat itself. You will, you will start to shake the structure of the body here we are in deep deep adventure okay this is in glorious territory super crazy okay very few people now are entering this i'm sure because it's like you let everything behind okay you let all your belief system you let your escapism you are at you you let your nirvanas your paradise you're uh, you're escaping the matrix like i said the matrix and and to solve trap you let all of this you enter into fucking crazy energy coming from under the other polarity of the divine structured in a body and hiding huge energy behind though you are still seeing it through the filter of chakras the prism okay the, the different colors of this light fractured in many lights you see to you see to the structure of kundalinis and animal sexuality and stuff and you hear it's a huge mess and a crazy adventure guys so this is the egg of the body okay the egg of the human form which is also uh, the, the adventure it is there it's there when you reach there you enter really into a, a very you know very real uh, energies okay very dense okay see you next video